has, has been very careful covering his tracks, keeping his identity secret. But now that we know that he had a son, I mean, that gives us the advantage, something we can use to draw him out. Yeah, but even if the police release Alexander's remains, we're still stuck in a holding pattern waiting for someone to show up to New Jersey to claim a body. That's if, if somebody shows up. Well, the, the bulk has been coming after Brenda because he thinks she has information about Alexander's death. I mean, does this sound like a guy who's going to leave his son sitting around in a morgue? I don't know. I think staking out the morgue might be our best chance to catch the Bulkin. Wait, I, th I, think, I think I could do one better. What, what if we can find a way to bring the Bulkin to us? that Alexander's body be transferred to GH for a secondary autopsy. Once the results are in the body, he can be released from the morgue. If, if the Balkan wants to have any kind of burial for his son, he's got to come pick up the body or he's got to send someone to come do it for him. Either way, we got this guy boxed in. Wait a minute, won't a second autopsy raise all sorts of red flags? It won't it draw attention to what really happened the night of Alexander's shooting? Look, second autopsies happen all the time in murder investigations. I can just go with the story I told Ronnie, that we initially thought that Yanichek was the Balkan, but now that proved to be false, but they still might be connected somehow. I like it, I like the plan. But we're gonna need somebody at the hospital. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to Steve Weber. Okay. If he gives you okay, then we, can, then we shouldn't have any problem. I'll let you know. All right. Uh -huh. I know this is the only lead we have to go on, but I wouldn't be surprised if it turned out being a dead end. I don't think the Balkan is going to be drawn out so easily. It's super Alexander with the Balkan son. That changes everything for once. Maybe the Balkan was too emotional to make a smart choice. I heard... The hospital is going to call the police. You cannot take this chance. No, it's fine. It's fine. I know somebody who can help. Are you okay? Yep. Jason, it's me. I'm in trouble. Where, where are you? Baker Street. I, I, I heard a guy. It's bad. It's a freaking lunatic. <laughs> Calling the cops. It's probably best to forget this ever happened. Well, you're not the one bleeding, so just stay the hell out of... Wait a minute. I, I know you. You work for Sonny Corinthos. No cops. Is that clear? Y yeah, sure. I, I, I don't want any trouble. What happened? Jason. This is Abby. Hey. Look, this guy was all over Abby. He was saying things, touching her. So no, I just... It was just a misunderstanding. I mean, Rodney is a regular at the club, and he gets a little grabby, but he's harmless. I'm sorry for any trouble. It's OK. Look, I, I should get to work. You know, I, can't, I can't afford to be late. Wait, wait, hell, I'll go with you. You're lucky I got here before the cops did. Yeah, no, it won't happen again. No, it can't happen again, or you're gonna be back in Pentonville. Okay, why don't you tell me what happened back there? All right. I told you what happened. Well, I want you to start at the beginning. Abby and I were talking. This guy walked up. He recognized her from the club. He said that he wanted a lap dance, and she better make it worth his while. Then he started rubbing her arm and treating her like a piece of meat. I told him to back off. And he made a comment about how she gets paid to be touched, and I just lost it. Did Abby ask for your help? She's... I wasn't gonna stand there and watch her get groped. He had no right putting his hands on her like that. I understand that you want to defend Abby, that you want to defend anybody in that kind of situation, well, but... but I took, took it too far, I don't care. The guy had it coming, I'm just sorry he stood back up. Okay, I know that you were trying to help Abby. But if she was okay with the way that Abby was wasn't okay with it. Did she say that? No, she didn't have to. I can tell by the way she was tensing up. Abby didn't want to be touched. I know what, I know what that's like. I didn't realize that you and Abby were friends. Yeah. She's nice. Easy to talk to. It kind of helps that Sam already told her how messed up I am, so I don't have to pretend around her. I'm sure Abby is nice, Michael, but she works in a strip club. It's probably not the best idea for Yeah, just you. to pay for school. It's not like she likes taking her clothes off or like that dude tonight. Yeah, yeah, whatever, but she sees dozens of those guys every night. You can't go around fighting them all. I know, I told you it's not going to okay, happen. It can't again. happen again because you're still on parole. You have to be careful with the people that you spend time with. You have to avoid situations that could get you in trouble. How's Abby? Fine. She made it to work on time. Nobody asked any questions. Uh, she seemed okay after what happened. 
Yeah, she was just worried about Michael. She didn't want him getting in any trouble. Well, Michael definitely overreacted, and he knows he can't do it again, or he'll be in Pentonville. I know, I know. Michael shouldn't be fighting, but I gotta say, I'm kind of glad he stuck up for her, because I don't think anybody should be No, they shouldn't, but Abby is a stripper, and dealing with jerks hey, is part of her come job. Come on, I know. I know she knows how to deal yeah, with guys Abby like Yeah, Abby might Rodney, be able to handle but... it, but Michael can't. He's overly sensitive to people who have no power. There's no place Michael should be.